what's up guys, it's Muzzer here, and today I'm just going to be showing you how I personally put my logos into Cinema 4D. I've had a few people request this, so I thought I may as well make a tutorial to start this series off. So what we're going to do is get a picture of your logo or somebody else's logo. I'm just going to put it on the Illustrator. So, get the logo. Today I'm going to be just using a Mitsubishi logo. It's nice and simple, won't take me long. And all we're going to do is make a new layer, and on the end of the layer, I don't know if you can see, but there's a circle. You're just going to click that circle, and then come up to the pen tool. Make sure on the pen tool there's a red diagonal cross ticked on the first box. The second box is a black square, and on the stroke bar, you either want to have one or two point. One point or two point. Today I'm going to be using two point for like the point of this tutorial. So all we're going to do is go around each bit separately. So start at the middle, start at the bottom and work your way up. But the, you want to take your time, make sure you do it all properly, make sure everything's connected up because if you don't do it properly it'll end up looking pretty shabby and not a waste of time really. So yeah, now I'm just going to make another new layer to do the next part on. And you can hide you can hide the layer you've just done if you'd like, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So when you get like a more um, a more extreme logo with curves and stuff in, you want to um, make sure you take your time still. More important because if you put it in Cinema 4D and you've made like a little mistake like not connecting lines up, then it will look bad. Just do the last one now, and then we'll be straight into Cinema 4D. And the good thing about Illustrator, I don't know if you can see, but I'm getting little green lines to show me where to match it up. So if I hide the, the actual original picture, then I've got my Mitsubishi logo. So what we're going to do now is go to File, Save As, save it on the desktop as an Adobe Illustrator file. And then on the version, we're going to make sure we click Illustrator 8 and then save it. And then we'll come over into Cinema 4D, press File, Merge, and then Mitsubishi AI. And then on the Connect lines, make sure that's ticked, and then just press OK. And then here we are. But yeah, it doesn't look very 3D yet, does it? No. So on the Mitsubishi, we're just going to press the little plus symbol on the right hand side on the left hand side of it and as you can see there's three paths so for each path we need to make an extreme nerve for it so now we've got three extreme nerves three paths so what we're going to do is get the first path and drag it onto the extreme nerve so it's got a rock a down an arrow pointing down next to it and then as you can see that's just filled it in and then we want to do the same with the other two and then once you click on the extrude nerves, if you go onto the movement and the last tab, the one which is usually starts from 20, if you just move that up, it'll make the depth higher. So if you've got 240 on that one, you want to do the same. Make sure you always do the same numbers on each one. How's it run right? 240, 240. And if I just show you now, and then if I go to caps start cap, fill it cap and then just turn the steps all the way up do the same for each one like you did before turn the steps all the way up same again, turn the steps all the way up and then you just want to make a new material anything you like I'm just going to do it red because the Mitsubishi logo is red turn reflection on Go down to Fresnel, turn the brightness down to zero, turn the mix strength on the Fresnel down to about 34, and turn specular off because specular just looks bad. Now, if we drag that onto the four, the three parts, and just render it out, as you can see, it started to look quite nice. And there you go, you've got your Mitsubishi logo in 3D, done, bang bada boom, 
So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial, and if you want to le um, leave a comment saying what you'd like to see in future tutorials, then that would be much appreciated. Cheers guys. Au revoir.